Greetings Superbox fam. Welcome to Superbox Official. In this video, we will show you how to use voice command on your Superbox S5 Max. But first, we want to express our gratitude and best wishes to all of our users, distributors, and resellers. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Superbox has been around for 5 years now and you're the ones who keep us going. Most of our users are tech challenged or elderly and many of them are refilled by their family, relatives or friends. And a lot of our distributors and the resellers started out as real users themselves. That's why we consider our Superbox community as a family. We have overcome many difficulties in these 5 years. But what drives us forward is our commitment. The commitment we made 5 years ago to offer a lifetime service. We will honor our commitment in the future and you can trust us. We have, we have also prepared contingency plans for the worst scenario. We do care about every end user. And we hope you all stay healthy and safe. Welcome back to this tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to use the voice control function of the latest Superbox S5 Max. The S5 Max has a Bluetooth remote control and a built in voice command system that been highly upgraded compared to our previous models like S3 Pro and S4 Pro. The S5 Max has faster response by time, higher recognition accuracy, and more features. To use the voice command function, you need to pair the remote to the box first. Some of you have asked why your remote doesn't work well. That's because before pairing, the remote uses infrared to connect to the box. You need to point the remote at the box. After pairing, you can use Bluetooth to connect to the box. The voice command function will be activated. But remember that when you turn on the box, it still uses infrared at first. So you need to point the remote at the box every time when you turn it on the box. Pairing the remote is easy. Just click the mic button on the home screen or press the mic button on your remote. You will see a pairing guide page. Follow the instructions. Hold the OK and the return buttons together for about 8 seconds. Wait for the indicator to blink. Then press the OK button again. When it says connected, you are ready to go. When you press the mic button for the first time after pairing the remote, it will pop up a Google Assistant notification. Simply log in to your Google account or select Use Assistant without sign in. First, you can hold the mic button on the remote and see the commands like TV, Watch TV, Open TV to open up the Blue TV app. TV. Watch TV. Inside the app, you can search for any TV channels. Let's try CNBC. All channels containing CNBC will be displayed. Then you can select the channel you want to watch. Now let's try Cooking Channel. Voila! It will go to the cooking channel directly since there is only one cooking channel. With the voice command function, you can switch between different channels way faster. Next, we can say phrases like Video VOD Watch Video Video Etc to open up the Blue VOD app. Inside the app, 
you can search for any movies and TV series by name, actor, or director. Now let's try X Men. There you go. All videos related to X Men will be come out instantly. You can filter by movies, TV series, or name. Then select the video you'd like to watch. Let's try a TV show, Stranger Things. Perfect. Quick and simple. Now let's try to search by actor's name. Let's say Tom Cruise. There you go. All videos about Tom Cruise are here. You can filter by movie and actor. Then all Tom Cruise movies have been filtered. And we can also search by director's name. Let's try James Cameron. And select movie Sony, director Sony. That's it. So you can search any video on demand much easier. With the voice command feature, you can also control the playback app with voice command. You can say "playback," "open playback," or "watch playback" to open the playback app. Playback. You can also search for any TV channels inside the app. Or you can say phrases like "Animal Planet" in playback to open the Animal Planet channel from the home screen. Animal Planet in playback. You can also use this tactic for Blue TV and the Blue VOD, like ESPN TV. If you see the channel name with the app name, it will open Blue TV and search for ESPN. Now let's try the bear video. If you see the content you want to search with video, it will open Blue VOD and display the search results. But please note that. The voice command function is not supported for the backup TV app. You can use the voice control function to install and delete apps. Simply see the app name to the remote, and you can download and install the app directly. Let's say Instfast. It will go to the app store and start. Installing the Fast app automatically, and let's try to delete an app. We can say "Delete Fast," and the installed app will be deleted. If you have installed the app, then you can easily open it by seeing the app name the remote. Let's try YouTube. There you go. The voice command feature supports YouTube searching perfectly. When you are inside the YouTube app, you can hold the mic button and search for anything you want. Let's try Superbox. Enjoy TV box. There you go. Now you can enjoy YouTube videos on your big screen TV even easier than on your computer. You can also access the setting. Through the voice command function, for example, you can say "Settings" to open up the system settings, Wi-Fi to open up the network settings, or Date to open up the date and time settings. The built-in voice system also supports Google Assistant. You can use phrases like "What's the weather like today?" Nearby restaurants.
or AAPL to search for anything you want. You can explore more possibilities with the upgraded voice command function of Superbox S5 Max. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and for your support along the journey. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone.